Welcome back guys, Meg Brown here and today we are going to learn how to modeling and texturing a TV in Blender. So before we start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it guys, so thank you so much. So without any further ado, let's get started. So shift A and let's add a cube. Now let's go to edit mode and press ctrl B to bevel it. You can roll the middle mouse button to add additional loop cut. Now let's scale it on Y axis. Uh, let's uh, shade its mode and let's add a loop cut right here. Now let's select this face and let's scale it down. Now let's add another cube and move it right here. Let's press Ctrl B to bevel it. And now let's go to edit and Go to add-on, make sure that a ball tool is able. Now let's shift select the cube and press control number pad minus. Now let's right click and shade it auto smooth. Now let's add a plane. Let's scale it on Y axis. Now let's subdivide it by two. Maybe three. Now let's select this face and now let's move it on X axis. Now let's add a subdiv. Level three, then right click and shade it auto smooth. Now let's select this face and let's separate it. Now let's go to edit mode and press Ctrl R and hold the middle mouse button to add uh, another loop cut. Now let's press Ctrl B to bevel it. And now let's delete the face. Now let's add uh, uh, another cube and let's move it right here. Let's duplicate it and let's move it on its axis. Select this one and press Ctrl number pad minus. Now let's move it back. Now let's add a cylinder number of uh, ties 64. Now let's rotate it and scale it. Let's put it right here. Now let's add a uh, array modifier. Array modifier. Now let's uh, change the factor on X to zero. Now let's change the factor on Y. Now let's shift select this one and press control number pad minus to add a boolean. Now let's add a cycle. Now let's fill this vertex by pressing F. Let's fill all that, all this face. Now let's extrude it on Z axis. Now let's bevel it. Now let's fill this face. Now let's select this face and, and, and move it and extrude it on Z axis. Now let's also fill this face. Now let's uh, scale it down, rotate it and duplicate it, rotate this one, and move it. Now let's add another cycle. Let's extrude it on Z axis. Now let's bevel this edge. And let's fill this face. Now let's add another cycle. Move it on the extrude it on Z axis. Now let's bevel this vertex.
Now let's duplicate it and rotate it. And now let's move all this, this antenna right here. Now let's add a cube and let's scale it on Z and move it on top. Now let's add a cylinder, scale this face down and also this face. Now let's apply a location, the rotation and also the scale. Now let's go back to edit mode and let's add a mirror modifier on Y. Now uh, let's put it right here and now let's duplicate it. Now our TV is ready. It's now time to add a material. Let's first go to shader editor. Now let's go to on render. Let's use the blender environment texture. Now let's first start with the string. Let's add a base color black. And now let's change the roughness. Now let's select this cube and apply a new material. Uh, I will go with something like orange. Now let's first go able a node wrangler or add-on. Now let's add a Voronoi texture. Now let's preview it. Now let's change the scale. Now let's take the distance and put it into the height of the bump. Now let's take the normal and plug it into normal. Now let's preview the principal BHF. And now let's decrease the strength of the bump. Now let's add a new material on this face. Let's assign this new material and make it black. Let's also assign the same material on this, this face. Now let's change the roughness. Now let's also apply the, the same material on this cube. And on this button, let's, let's select the, the, the face and apply this orange material. Now for the antenna, just apply this black material and change the roughness. The same thing right here, let's select this face. And now let's simply apply this uh, black material. And for this, this cube, let's select, uh, let's select it and apply this uh, orange material. Now for this, uh, for this cylinder, let's apply uh, this black material also on this cylinder. Now for this, this plane, let's apply uh, this orange, I think, this orange material. And let's make that unique. Maybe we can use this orange. And let's make it a little bit dark. And that's it. That is, guys, that is, this is how you can create a TV in Blender. And that's it. This is how you can modeling your own TV in Blender. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. See you next time. Bye-bye.